Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know what it is with this Trophy Titans promo, but EA have now leaked the Team 2 of Trophy Titans, just like they did last week, two days before it's actually going to get released in the game. So I want to take a look at all of the leaks that we have for Trophy Titans Team 2 and how it's starting to impact the market, and of course, how the market is absolutely mudded right now. This is full Team of the Season market crash mode. Prices are absolutely mudded, and I also want to look forward into... When is the lowest point going to be? Are we still going to see prices dropping today on Thursday in some areas? Or will things start to rebound as we head into the weekend where there is, of course, a lot of weekend league demand and team building and buying? So we're going to take a look at all of that and, of course, what is going on currently in the SBC section. There's a lot going on there as well. If you're excited for today's video, if it helps you at all, drop a thumbs up on it and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's start by talking about a content and a market overview from yesterday. There is so much to cover and to look at because yesterday we didn't have a lot of content, but the content that EA released, they kind of made it count because it was a pretty good SBC, not for good value, but a good SBC in the fact that it is a upgrade pack SBC that we get to do two times per day. It's an 83 times 15, which is kind of a pack that you would almost expect to see from like a swaps program, but it's here via an SBC and it's not cheap per se, but it is pretty craftable. If you will, we've got upgrade packs that are out right now. And if you do this once you get fodder in return, you get a lot of fodder in turn, actually a lot of 83s, a lot of 80 fours in most of these packs you can turn that right back in to complete it a second time and it's not that hard to do and you end up with some fodder of course coming out of it so for that reason i kind of like it but also it's two squads it's ninety thousand coins and the pack weight on these was just not that great you would hope of course to maybe hit somebody from trophy titans like maybe a, a little bro lam or a donovan or a unberg but mostly what we saw out of these yesterday was just a lot of 83s and 84s and maybe a walkout or two right of course some people get really lucky they pack a trophy titans but some people have started to save these and actually just do these and stock them up for a team of the season coming out in the next couple of weeks that might be an option for you guys as well wanting to do this SBC. That was all the content that we had yesterday, but it finally made some fodder move on the lower tier. We have got 84s that are up over a thousand coins, 85s last night. If you if you stocked any of these in your club or if you invested at all yesterday when we made the video, they were so low, 8,000 coins, low 8K range for these 85s. They were so cheap. They all went to around 10, 11,000 coins around the content drop because you can do this SBC twice. It's an 83, or sorry, it's an 83, yeah, 83 and an 85 rated squad. There is an 84 rated requirement in the 83 squad. That is making the 84s go up specifically. I think the 84s had the biggest rise technically percentage point wise because they were required specifically in that SBC from 3K to 4,000 coins plus. They're probably going to go up a little bit more today around content time. So if you have 83s, 84s, or 85s that you want to sell and you want to get out and take the small profit in the short term, you can probably do that today around content when this SBC refreshes. But I also think if you invested in 83, 85s at like 8.5K, there's not really a reason to sell. You could still hold these cards until next week and maybe even beyond as we get closer to team of the season as we're going to have more packs like this released. And I look forward to maybe a TOTS warm-up promo where a lot of those card prices are probably going to go higher. So that's kind of the two-option play you can have here. You can sell for the quick short-term profits and look to reinvest later on this weekend or you can just hold because you probably got just about the lowest price they're going to go to on 83s to 85s and wait until later on. So that's kind of the fodder situation on this game at the moment. Those cards did go up a little bit yesterday. Not a lot, but an SBC like this is obviously going to make them move and probably will make them move a little bit more today. Now, continuing the market talk, let's look at high rated fodder because some of our ultra high rated fodder is dropping like crazy. Benzema and De Bruyne now being back in packs because they're, of course, and Lewandowski actually. Actually, they were all in Team of the Week last week. Those guys being back in packs today, I think, is really affecting the top-tier fodder market. Look at this. Benzema from 85K is now 64,000 coins. 91s are down bad, and that's dragging the rest of the high-tier fodder with it. 90s are down. 92s are down. 93, Closa and Casillas are 90,000 coins apiece as well. 
So your high rated fodder is dropping. I also think there's a little bit less demand there because I know we have some icon SBCs that have been released recently, but you know, Carlos Alberto Perez, you know, I think it's an 88 rated squad is the highest squad inside of these SBCs each. There's no like 89s or 90s that most people are completing anymore uh, in a lot of these SBCs. So that is taking some of that higher tier fodder down a little bit because there's less demand and there's more supply with a lot of high rated cards being put out in team of the week. Of course, the trophy Titans, a lot of those like Yunberg. Uh, the Del Piero, Lil Bro Icon, Lom is one of the cheapest 92s in the game. So that's kind of pushing the fodder market down in general on that top tier. Could it go up a little bit this weekend? Yes, we'll talk about that in the video tomorrow. But the lower tier is where all the fodder demand is right now. So sell it now for the quick profit or wait and hold it for later on. But let's talk about Titans team number two, and we'll get to the rest of the market and the crashing here in a second. There are a lot of player names to look at, and if you guys have not seen these leaks, it started off yesterday with a bang. R9 Ronaldo is getting a Trophy Titans card. He's already had the World Cup version. This, matter of fact, this might be the best R9 icon we see in FIFA this year. This could be it, guys. I mean, yes, of course, there might be some more icon releases out through the summer and stuff like that. But the fact that he's getting a card right now in April means that it might be the best one that he gets. We'll just have to see. But... I can't wait to see how good this card looks, also how expensive this card is going to be, but R9 is getting a new card. I'm very curious to see the stats on this card as well. I know this is going to be like unpackable for just about 99% of us, but for the 1% that does end up getting this card or can afford it, of course, I'm just so curious to see how much of a boost they give him in terms of his stats. Is it going to be like Roberto Carlos where they just give him like some plus ones uh, or are they going to give him like 99 pace? I doubt that. I guess we might be able to tell if it's going to be the last Ronaldo icon based off of how much stat boost they give him today. Now, for the rest of the team, we know it, right? Just like last week, we have the whole entire team leaked and it's kind of nice to know the ones that are going to have those junior versions right or the little bro versions as we call them owen javi and dog leash are all going to have little bro versions and the two version kind of subset in the trophy titans team number two we've got ole as a hero card we've got gerard uh, we've got r9 we have dudek van basten blanc joe cole Vieira, marquisio forlan raul uh and of course lampard as well lampard is leaked to be and believed to be the objective for this promo coming up, kind of just like the bird camp. So maybe we'll see one version of Lampard in packs and then one again at objectives. Hopefully get a really nice boost there. That could be a fun card. So watch out for that. And then the SBC leak that we have is this, and this is massive, right? Marquisio is added to come as an SBC during Trophy Titans. Uh, absolutely incredible uh, SBC here. I mean, I doubt there's going to be an objective, of course, with the Lampard leak being for an objective. This would be a crazy SBC that so many people would want to go out and do. And I hope the boost is pretty big. Of course, as you would expect, some of these guys yesterday being leaked have dropped in price. Marquisio is actually up right now a little bit. He was down at like 750 yesterday. He's back up now to about 820,000 coins. This card has been very expensive since it came out for, you know, a plus three shooting boost, but a plus one overall boost on all the other stats from his base card is 88,000 coins and this one's 800k. We've always thought this card is a little bit overpriced. I'm curious to see how big of a stat boost they give this Titans Marquisio. Do they give him a plus one? Do they give him a plus two? And if they do that, how much are they going to value this SBC at? Because this could be another one of those insane midfielder SBCs that really hurts the market, right? We just had Keen for 400,000 coins. I can't imagine that Marquisio would be that cheap, especially with his World Cup item being this expensive i would imagine this is spc is probably going to come in somewhere around like a million coins or maybe a little bit cheaper than that probably depends on the stat boost probably depends on just what ea wants to have happen with this market in the next couple of days but that's a massive spc and we'll definitely be curious to see how that impacts the market in the coming days. But you see a couple more of these cards. One name that is not on this list is Cannavaro. But Sheriff is saying that Cannavaro is also in the leaked team. So I'm very curious to see if this does drop. Um, but of course, there's the Van Basten concept card. These are not confirmed stats. I believe these are just um, stats that are predicted. There's the Dog Leash. There's the Forlan. Forlan could have a really spicy card as a part of Trophy Titans. Now, to me, this team, I don't know. Vieira, that's big. Marquisio that's big. There's a lot of attackers in here, right? R9, Raul, Dalglish, Forlan, uh, Van Basten. You've got, the, uh, of course, the R9 Ole. You've got Owen times two. So there are a lot of attackers in this team, it seems. If you kind of compare the Trophy Titans team one, 
it's kind of like a toss-up between which one is better. I feel like these are both very, very strong teams. R9 over Zidane, probably in terms of price, but like Del Piero, who's going to compare to Del Piero in this team? You know, Van Basten, no. Uh, Raul, probably not as good as Del Piero. So team one might be just a little bit clear. We'll have to see um, what it looks like with the boost on these cards for Titans team two. But that is the team right there, guys. And of course, very attacker heavy. So it just kind of makes sense. We've had a lot of center back uh, hype recently with Carlos Alberto. We've had a lot of midfielder hype recently with like guys like Rabio, um, the Nkunku SBC, the Conte, and then the Keen. So maybe it just makes sense that we might have some more attacking based options released in this team too to kind of uh, fill that void or that gap, I guess, for new cards that have not been dropped recently. So that right there, of course, is pretty big, and we'll look to see how those cards get upgraded, and it's impacting the market a little bit. I'm not saying that that is the sole source of why there is so much panic on this market right now. Honestly, guys, this market is just in the mud for a lot of different reasons, and this is why we've been saying for the past couple of days that the market is definitely not at its lowest yet. I still right now do not believe this is the low point for the market. We are not there yet. Are we getting closer? Yes. Could this be a low point? Could we have seen the low point on some cards? I do believe we may have seen some of the lowest points we'll possibly see on a few of the top to middle tier center backs that were just panic sold so much. Like this Marquinhos was 400,000 coins after being 600,000 coins. And with the big time center back SBC of Carlos Alberto released in this game, he was down so, so much. Could he have had his lowest point at 400,000 coins before team of the season comes out? Potentially. Could he go there again? He also could go there again as well. So that's just kind of where the panic has been at in the last day or so. It's just been continually like everything you look at is just down. And it's just one of those days. If you guys have ever experienced the market crash in FIFA before, it's just crazy when you look to the market and all you see is just price is going down and down even lower cards that you thought had already dropped off enough just keep going lower even on some of those you know kind of like really stable cards Mbappe take a look at Mbappe yesterday from 470 all the way down to 410,000 coins now he is back up a little bit and that's what happens in these market crashes you have big drop-offs you see some kind of really low valleys and then some slight bounce backs but it does not mean this card has reached its lowest point yet I do not in fact believe that Mbappe has seen his lowest point yet um, for a lot of these cards I still think there is some time to drop but that might be kind of like next week when team of the season is really confirmed and we know the actual date for team of the season because right now we are still without a, a true knowledge of the actual day when team of the season starts a lot of this panic is for team of the season though right I know we've got a lot of great SBCs and a lot of great um you know, content that's being released with this Titans promo, really good pack weight for icons. But I really do believe that the reason these prices are dropping down so much is because team of the season and because people just don't want to buy right now because they know that prices are probably going to go lower in the next couple of days. And I think that's just fine. The safest thing to do right now in this game is to really not spend any coins at all. I've got myself in trouble actually trying to flip cards in the past day or so uh, because I think, hey, this card is down so much, uh, but you know, it actually just ends up falling further, right? I have bought a couple David Alabas at 820,000 coins. So we're making some coins here. Some of these road to the finals with their big drops are really good to trade with, but it's tough right now making coins on the game because not as many people, specifically on the top tier, middle tier meta cards are not buying that many cards. Now, at the same time, it is possible to make coins. You just have to look in the right areas. You have to get on the bids, guys. I can't stress enough how good some of these bids are, especially on these special cards that are out of packs that people seemingly forget about. And since a lot of people are just scared of the market right now and kind of waiting for team of the season, I saw this Ledley King, who's usually a 340, 350,000 coin card, go on bid yesterday for 260K, right? That's a huge undercut on a card that you could potentially just list back up for whatever the cheapest price is and make some profit. If you're trying to make coins on this game right now, the number one tip I would give you is bids. And I would also tell you to look at the lower tier cards, lower tier cards, less than 100,000 coins that people are still using, that people want to try out. Uh, they have a lot less tax, right? So whether you're going to buy players and just list them up for lazies, right? One very popular trading method in this game is like buying players um, and then listing them up for like four to 5,000 coins more than they actually sell for with the position change or maybe a chemistry style. And a lot of times after you're listing them over and over and over, especially if it's a very popular player from a popular league or a team, you will see that card sell because 
you know, some people just don't pay attention and look for the lowest absolute price. And if that price looks believable and it's pretty close, they will actually buy it, right? I actually sold this Ed Armelia Tau yesterday for 317K after buying him at 285 because he was around 300,000 coins. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to list this up at 317 to see if I could sell it. And boom, two hours later, it sold. That is lazy listing and it could make you decent coins right now. But the safest thing to do is to not buy cards because prices are still most likely going to be dropping as a market as a whole in these next couple of days heading towards next week in the team of the season. Now, I will say this, depending on the content today on Thursday and into this weekend, if we get zero news about team of the season, no loading screen, Nothing about Tots warm up, nothing around that. I do believe there will be some cards. Maybe it's some Trophy Titans. Maybe it's some of these guys that have just dropped off so much in the past couple of days and their prices have just genuinely gotten too cheap. There will probably be some cards that rise up in price a little bit this weekend, right? It might be a Trophy Titan or two. Some of these guys like a Burkamp or maybe Essien, who's very, very popular. You could see some of those going up in price. It all depends on the SBC content and, of course, uh, the news and the content that we get, um, you know, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, right? Everything related to team of the season, that news, because I think there's still more dropping to come. But some cards with the, the weekend league demand and people wanting to go and buy teams, there will be a few cards that fluctuate between here and then. But I still think we have to wait for some true team of the season news for more crashing and more panic selling and just the fact that people are not wanting to buy too much stick to the lower tier stick to what is hot right if we get a Syria SBC right today speaking of today's content on FIFA we have a Syria SBC league and this would make me potentially think if it comes today or maybe it's coming during the weekend that we could see a bit of a boost to, to, to some specific cards in the Syria on the lower tier end if this Benucci is well priced, right? This is kind of a crazy one because it's like the first SBC. I mean, besides Ozil, Ozil wasn't necessarily related to the promo though. He was just a uh, premium kind of end of an era SBC. This is a flashback uh, Benucci, which I guess you could kind of consider him a trophy Titan, but not necessarily. Uh, it's just different because it's not an icon or a hero, but that's why he gets the flashback design. This SBC right here, I know it doesn't look that insane with the predicted stats. If EA were to give him a really nice stat boost, this could be another center Back that could hurt more center back prices on the market, but also cause some more demand for some of those Serie A links, right? We had a Rabio recently. We have had a uh, left back Alexandro recently. So there's a lot of people that I'm sure are using Serie A in their team, and that could kind of influence the lower tier market if this SPC has good value and has good stats. If it's dropped today or dropped during the weekend, that's one part of the market that we maybe could trade in a little bit, or you'd see some prices go up a little bit on the lower tier of that Serie A market if that is released. Now, in my opinion, I thought this might have been yesterday, but instead we had the 83 times 15. I'm not even convinced that this would be today. I could also see this SBC being either tomorrow on Friday instead of Marquisio, or maybe it would be on Saturday or Sunday during the weekend. You know, in the next couple of days, that Benucci should be dropping. Thursdays are usually pretty quiet days. Now, of course, today we're looking at marquee matchups, right? And um, marquee matchups is always an SBC set that people do every single week to try to stack up some packs. And it's always a set that people are going to want to do when there's icons and heroes in packs like there are right now for Trophy Titans. So if we're taking a look at these Trophy Titans cards, am I wanting to invest in these. Honestly, guys, like I said, I'm not really trying to invest that much or at all right now on this game. Prices that we think get low, they maybe bounce back a little bit. I bought an SCN yesterday at 270,000 coins. And what is he right now? He's 290, right? I sold it for 300 for a lazy sale. Once again, as I was talking about earlier, but is this guy going to go back down to 270 today? Probably. I just don't see a market today where people all of a sudden decide they want to go and buy these because they're going out of packs. We have a team two coming out, especially for midfielders. If we get a Marquisio SBC, right, this SCN could be hurt in price even more because of that. Bergkamp, uh, I know more and more people are getting his objective card done, which maybe means less demand for this version in packs, even though it has five-star skills. And we're getting a lot of attackers in Team 2 of Trophy Titans. So I would rather play it on the safe side and not really invest in these cards. I do think that these Trophy Titans will drop off in price a little bit more today because you've got the Rivals Reward Supply, which people have been playing Rivals this week to do the Burkamp objective. So there's going to be some supply there. And then, of course, you've got the Marquee Matchup Supply. So be very careful with the Titans cards and be careful with the Team of the Week as well. We don't have that massive or that insane of a Team of the Week this 
this week. Team League 24 that dropped yesterday. But guys like Donnarumma, Di Lorenzo, Olise, even Delict and Acuna, like a lot of people probably want to try this Acuna card out. He's probably going to drop in price today. You guys know the normal weekly fluctuation with Team of the Week cards is... They start really high, they drop on Fridays and Saturdays really low, and Sundays as well, and then they start to rise up a little bit after that. So just be very, very careful with these cards because they should be dropping a bit more today. Don't get stuck with somebody, um, maybe like Delict or Olise specifically. I know he's 88 rated, so he's already fodder price, but he really can't go down that much. That's actually a fair point. He can't go down that much, but maybe a Di Lorenzo as a 79,000 coin, 89 rated card or reverts as 61K. You know, 89s as fodder are about 40,000 coins. Those are two cards you might want to be a little bit more careful with just because uh, they're kind of already... They're, they're above the fodder price, and they'll probably get to fodder price if we're being completely honest here pretty soon. So just be careful with those today. And uh, other than that, Thursdays are usually pretty quiet. So we'll see what happens with the market today. But I do feel like some cards that have just dropped off a ton in the past couple of days, it's going to be hard to find them, honestly. Uh, they're going to have to be rare. They're going to have to be out of packs. But I do fe feel like a few cards today could have a bit of a bounce back. Like Emre Chan, I sold him at 220 yesterday, and now he's 200,000 coins. It's just crazy how much much market crashing has been going on but also at the same time it kind of makes sense even though it's not fun to think about it kind of makes sense with where we are at and how prices have been super duper inflated for such a long time so what my recommendations would be again is to stick to the lower tier market and don't try to make something happen on cards where you think their price will go up but if nobody is going to buy them or even for like Oop Meccano you know he needs an appearance this weekend for another plus one live cards I do like live cards I traded with a couple yesterday but you got to be making sure you're trading with cards that aren't going to get impacted um, by, by something else, right? By another center back SPC like this Oop Meccano could be impacted by. So I'm not really buying for teams. That stuff I think we're going to wait until next week on. So that's why I keep saying wait, watch the market crash. And if you haven't sold cards yet, wait for a bounce or two on maybe a card that you're trying to sell. You see a, you see a big drop off. Uh, and you, you see a big bit of a rise, sell in that rise before the card drops further. But we'll just have to keep watching things as it unfolds this weekend. Just crazy times right now on this game. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate the Accountant. Catch you guys there. Peace out.